is James Dunnigan. Uh, I'm from Grass Lake, Michigan in the winter and Mackinac Island in the summer. Graduated from Lake Forest College in 2012 with a degree in history and a minor in anthropology and classical studies. Uh, I'm currently working on a master's for archaeology and anthropology through Western Michigan University. When I was a kid, this space was part of the Mission Point Theater, which was the only place in which you could watch movies <laughs> on the island. Uh, so my summer is kind of involved usually every Monday night coming down and watching a movie that would either work or wouldn't work. Um, sometimes they broke down, usually they broke down or would stop and start. So this is where they would sell concessions. Uh, at least that's what I remember it as. And people would come in and buy overpriced soda and candy bars and water back into the theater during the, the before the show or during when the uh, movie was trying to be fixed. <laughs> or in the off chance that we made it through a movie and it was perfectly fine coming back out here and buying more refreshments and hanging out before going home, uh, which is what most people did. It was usually a place where people would pass in and out and talk. I don't remember too much of anything else in here except for there were the big windows that looked out over the lake and the, uh, the structures, and that was really about it. It was just a large kind of empty space only really used that I was aware of uh, once a week and then on the occasional events where there were concerts or things in the theater, um, and again, they would use it for a concession area or kind of a reception space. How did your what do you feel about the space now? I mean, as an art gallery, how is it different? I mean, with the new walls, with the art, with the, I remember there being a pool table in here. How does the space feel now that there, it's an art gallery? It's nice, it's nice to have this open. Um, there was the, there is the Indian dormitory that got revamped into the art gallery, which is great. And then there's the one gallery downtown and now there's this gallery here, which I think is important, I think the more artists that you bring into the island, uh, the better. You're going to attract different tourists, which is what the island needs at the moment, uh, especially with the economy. You know, this is 4th of July today, and this is probably one of the slowest 4ths I've ever seen. So having additional things for tourists and locals and cottagers and even summer workers to come and see and enjoy is good. And I, I think it's a really good use of space, um, you know, rather than just being used for you know, hotel rooms or some other kind of less, I, I just suppose like uh, a space that wouldn't be as, I hate to use the word culture, but kind of having a space in which you can come and appreciate something that isn't what you're going to see everywhere else. You're definitely seeing some unique art in here, which I think is important. All right, after reviewing the art, what are your opinions on having contemporary art? I know you talked a little bit about just having a, a new culture here in this space, but what are your thoughts on having Detroit artists? I think it's good. I think people don't, people give Detroit a lot of flack, and I think that there's some good stuff coming out of Detroit, and this is a really good example. Uh, you know, you hear in the news about how, uh, like, there's little artist colonies starting downtown. I mean, there is the Detroit Art Institute, which is world class art there, and no one talks about it. I mean, there's great art in Detroit, so I think bringing it out and showing people what Detroit has to offer, especially in such a high traffic place like Mackinac, is great because people from the state can see that, people from outside the state and outside the country can see that. And you know, that will help build up Detroit's reputation, I think. And it's some pretty interesting art. I mean, some really unique pieces that I really like. What's your favorite? That's uh, I like the ones that are behind me on the, uh, the wood blocks. If you can uh, see those. Actually, anything on this wall is pretty, <clears throat> pretty fantastic. Which one out of those, uh, oh, well, out well, of the five well. there? Oh, I would go the, uh, those first five for sure. I, I don't think I can make a, <coughs> make a proper choice. Maybe the second one in from the window with the pine trees. Kind of like that. It's, uh, it's kind of has some Michigan flavor. So it's, you know, it's nice. So, kind of leading into the Michigan flavor, you. So how, how did you come about with learning about Mackinac Island? You know, do you have a history here on the island or? My, I grew up here every summer, so this is summer 23. Um, it's every summer I come back, even now that I'm working downstate in Michigan or out of the country or even in the south of Virginia, I'm at least coming back for a brief period of time every summer. But my family grew up here, my, both my parents grew up here when they were kids and they're my grandparents came here. Um, we have been coming up every summer. We own a cottage up here. That's how my parents met, were through cottages. So 
I've had a long, <laughs> very long history on the island, um, especially within the cottage community, but then going through high school, having to work here in the summers, and this became, uh, this has always kind of been home, especially since I move around so much. So even though I'm only here for three or four months a year, now less, um, I still consider it my permanent residence because this is where I vote, this is where, um, this is what Michigan is to me, is the Straits and especially Mackinac. So long childhood biking around the island, running in the woods, um, <laughs> swimming in a freezing cold lake. Uh, definitely this is what shaped my childhood and it's kind of been home that I think hopefully always will be. So with this new space, do you think that other cottagers appreciate it as well, just having an outlet? Yeah, I think anyone likes coming out for a social gathering. That is part of Mackinac is coming, at least from what I've experienced in my time here is coming out for social events. So I think having a space in which people can come out and see new things, you know, opening galas, uh, events in spaces like this are good. It gets people out, especially to see something new. And I mean, let's face it, there's some pretty fantastic art here. There's fantastic art all across the island. So I think it's good to be able to come out and see that and support that and, you know, support other, um, other artists who aren't just from the island. Awesome. Thank you so much, James. You're welcome.